Hey guys, welcome to the video. Just a quick one today where I'm going to be talking about how to loosen stiff shoulder joints on wrestling figures. So as you can see here, this Becky Lynch, that shoulder is not going down at all. This AJ will not go down or up. And I also kind of want to see if I could just get this Bobby Roode shoulder flat as well. If you're familiar with how to do like customs and loosen joints and stuff like that, then it's a pretty straightforward process but there's one slight difference there that i thought was worth sort of mentioning on a video basically so start off with boiling the kettle of course and we're just going to put the affected arms into the bowl and we're then going to work the shoulder once that's like you know once they've warmed up a bit uh, we're going to work the shoulder and then we have the extra step which is to leave it basically so kettle's boiled, we're just going to pour a fair bit of water in there, not too much though, cost of living crisis, don't want to be wasting loads of water. If you have like wide brimmed bowls, this works better with stuff like that, we don't unfortunately, but as long as you can get the figures in, it's not really a big problem. And, uh, you know, if you try and keep as many joints out as you can as well, obviously all three of their heads are having to go in there. That's just going to mean, you know, we might accidentally loosen them if we handle them too much. So if you just avoid doing that, then that's for the best. And then we're just going to leave them in there to soak for a few minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll work through the joints. I don't like using hair dryers for things like this because I tend to find that if you feel like you've warmed it up enough, but you haven't, um, it's, it is possible to pull the entire head peg out and that is irreparable. And that's a real problem. But, you know, if you boil it in water, you know, you're always going to achieve the same temperature. It's never going to be a problem that way. Because, you know, you might have like a little bit of resistance with the head. But if you soak it a little bit longer, it'll pop straight off. And that's what you're after. If there's any resistance at all, um, then, you know, you risk damaging the figure. And I feel like that is a lot more likely with uh, hair dryers plus you're just using loads of electricity and sitting for ages aren't you rather than just boiling the kettle so yeah but one thing i have found recently is that using a fan heater to remove like heads and stuff that have that have been painted that you don't want to soak in boiling water and have the paint come off you know that works too okay let's see how these guys are doing okay so we're just gonna bring a towel out here and we'll get becky for actually we'll get aj first so, as I said, uh, just towel it off a little bit so you're not getting boiling water all over yourself. As I said, this didn't go up or down. So what we're basically going to do is we're going to pull that shoulder out. We're going to mold that around and we are probably going to hear a slight click. And then after that click, we're going to leave the arm where it is. That's the extra step. Because if you put it back where it came from, it just moulds back to where it originally was. So, we are going to get that shoulder. Okay, there was no click there, but you definitely felt the, the joint sort of come out. And as I say, we're just going to leave that out like that. And we're going to leave him to cool down like that. Give Bobby Roode a go. Uh, he wants his shoulder laying flat. So we're going to straighten the arm out and try pushing that in. Now, sometimes this one does not work because sometimes that's just like the way the figure is. And I think this is the case right now. Because you see one of his arms, this arm is quite flat to his body. This one's quite wide out. It, it doesn't look like that's going to that's gonna sort itself out. And now we'll take a look at the Becky Lynch as well. So we could just see that it works fine on women's figures as well. So this, of course, wouldn't go down. So in this instance, we're just going to push it down. Uh, the joint's going to come out at the top there. Nice and flat to her body. Torso joint is also quite loose. And then we're just going to leave them for a little while. And we'll see what they're like when, they dry, when they've uh, cooled down. So what I like to do is I like to hold the joint, like give the actual joint in question a little touch and make sure there's like absolutely no heat left in there and then just flatten it down. Uh, because, you know, if you go too soon, if you're over eager, 
and you go too soon then you're just going to end up putting it back before it's properly like molded the way you want it and as you can see here the arm now goes right the way down and right the way back up again full range movement restored and then you just want to like leave these on a towel for a while or give them a good towel and off i did this matt riddle as well while i was waiting because he came out with two stiff shoulders when i did his unboxing but yeah i hope this helped you guys uh, thank you guys for watching and goodbye